All right, what's up, y'all? My name's Andrew, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to sync trick shots with timer mapping. I figured I'd start making tutorials for how to do editing because I just came back to editing, and there's not a lot of editors in the community right now, and I do know a few amount of people who wanna learn. So this is gonna be like the main thing that you need to learn when it comes to editing is how to sync your stuff. Um, so to get started, I'm using After Effects, and I already went ahead and put a song in and I already synced up the beats. But in order to do that, you wanna basically go to all the high points or where the beats are and drag over here and just drag a marker over it like that. Um, some songs aren't gonna have prominent beats like this one does, so you wanna press space and just listen and map wherever the beats are. Uh, it's kind of a tedious process, but it'll help you a lot in the long run. Uh, but once you have your stuff synced up, I went ahead and renamed two of my keyframes to where I want the shot, and you just do that by hitting right click settings and then typing in. So this is where I want my first shot to be, and then this one is where I want the kill cams uh, shot to be. Uh, so to start off, you wanna go to where you want your shot and drag up until he shoots. Like that's right when I shoot. So you wanna drag and go right to the bullet shot then you want to do control shift D to split the layer right on the shot. And then I usually go one beat over and then split again. Uh, you can usually do two or three or however, however much you want. It's kind of your preference and it depends on the song that you're using as well. Um, but this is going to be like the shot and the reload and then it's going to go right into kill cam right here. But we're going to mess with this first. So I'm gonna go ahead and hide this top layer because we don't need to deal with this just yet. Uh, so what you wanna do once you have that set out is you wanna do Control Shift T on this layer and it'll bring up your timer mapping. And then you wanna to go to right when you shoot and press this instead of keyframe. And then you want to drag out to where you want it to kind of slow down at and you'll get what I mean uh, when we start editing it a little bit more. But I'd say right here, I guess, just for the purpose of this video so I don't take up too much time. And then you wanna go to the la other beat and then just speed up or make a keyframe at wherever you want it. So I'm gonna go right here. Oh, and then you can drag the time to set another keyframe uh, for a certain time. Once you have your keyframes down, you wanna highlight and then press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. If you don't have that, or if you have a Mac or whatever, you can right click, hit keyframe assistant, and then right here, easy ease. After you've easy eased them, uh, you wanna drag this and move it kinda on the other side, kinda 75% of the way in. You don't have to do it after you easy ease them. I just didn't do it yet. But that's gonna, our goal right there, so then he shoots, and then closer to the next beat, it hits that spot and then speeds up. Uh, so next you want to highlight all those and then click over here and go into the graph editor and It's gonna be really small. So you go down here and click until it gets magnified uh, So you want to click on these little points and it's gonna bring up these kind of lines uh, Don't click on the line itself because if you start dragging lines it's gonna really mess up So I'm gonna undo you want to click individually on these and on this bottom keyframe I'm gonna drag this line and just kind of do it not straight up but at an angle and then this line I'm gonna drag out a little bit and then this line drag the other way out and then this line down so you got a curve going and I'm gonna angle both of these actually a little bit because you never really want a flat line on the graph editor because that's gonna make it freeze or be choppy because if you scroll through right now it's not too choppy. It's gonna be choppy a little bit just because I'm scrolling through it, but. Uh, and this isn't ideal, or like this isn't necessarily how you have to do it every time. This is just how I do it. Uh, everyone has their own way of doing it. Graph editor, like the whole point of it is to do what you feel like you want in your edit and just to kind of mess around with it until you get something you like. But if we play it right now, it's a little bit slow. Uh, it's too slow for my liking because it starts getting choppy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here and I'm going to drag it up. And that's going to speed it up a little bit. So if we play it, 
Throw like motion blur on there and it'll be a little less choppy too. Uh, I'm even gonna drag that down a little bit. There we go. I like that. Um, so now we're gonna move on to the kill cam. And obviously this isn't perfect and there's so much more you need to add to an edit to make it flow nice. But this is just the basics. Um, in the future I might post tutorials for like color correction, different trick shot effects, stuff like that. But for now this is just syncing. So for the kill cam, I go to the next keyframe. Let me uh, show it again. I go to the next keyframe where I want the kill cam shot to be. And then I drag, obviously, into the kill cam right when I shoot. And then I split the layer again. And then I go back to the keyframe where it ends from this clip that we just edited. And then I split that again and delete this. So then it goes right from that to the kill cam. Oh, whoops, sorry. Let me undo everything. I definitely brought it to the wrong spot. There we go. So, again, bring it to the shot, go over here. Split that, delete it, split that, leave that. Okay, so now we're gonna start working on this one right here, and I do it a little bit different than how I did the other one. What I do is I go right where I shoot and I'm gonna hide that so you can see a little bit better. I'm gonna go right where I shoot, I'm gonna keyframe that just like before, but then I'm gonna go back to this keyframe at the beginning, and I'm gonna go right when I start my trick shot. So I'm gonna go like right here. It doesn't have to be right when I start, but kinda of, that's kinda of where I want it. So I'm gonna keyframe there, and then at each beat, just keyframe. Um, if you want it to be like, let's say I want this one to be right as the sniper comes out, I can just drag that there and then it'll be, that'll be what the keyframe is, but I don't want that. I want just to do that. So just like before, highlight them all, easy ease, go back to the graph editor and you'll get more lines just like before. I'm going to zoom in one more time. So now we want to go to the start. And this is where it's a little bit different. It's not too different, but this is how I do it. I drag this one up and angled, and then this one down and angled. So it makes a nice curve. And then I click on the middle, and your goal is you want this little plus, or this little uh, cross to go right through. You want the line to go right through the middle. Now let's say we move this down a little bit. You'll see that it'll go a little bit below. If you go right in the middle, that's ideal. Uh, I don't exactly know what happens when you go above or below. All I know is that whenever I go right in the middle, it flows really nicely. So that's just what I always shoot for. And then you just want to do the same for all of the keyframes. Uh, and they don't have to be exactly angled perfectly. It's just kind of, you just kind of mess around with it until you get something you like. So I'm just going to do that. And then this one, I'm going to go up a little bit like that increase it like that and so now it should be in the middle for all of those and we'll I'll preview it at the end but now you want to go over to right when you shoot on this one now so let me unhide that same thing as we did with the first shot keyframe or time remapping control alt -T keyframe right here and then I'm gonna keyframe right there I'm gonna do alt in bracket to bring that in another way to do that control D and delete I'm just basically getting rid of that excess stuff so we are going to do that and then I'm gonna pick actually no I wanna go right here and I wanna make the keyframe to slow down like right there and then I'm gonna drag that out a little bit farther drag that over just like before, highlight all of them, right click, keyframe assistant. I don't know why it's not popping up for me. Hmm. Anyways, I don't know why it's not popping up. Anyways, F9, easy ease them. Go back in and we do it again. Go up, over, over, down. 
and then I'm gonna bring that up a little bit already just because I know it's gonna be a little choppy and that's essentially what you do for syncing that's how I sync all my trick shots uh, sniping is a little bit different but essentially how to edit sniping clips same thing how we did on this one where you just meet it in the middle except the beats would be like shot next beat would be when he cocks back stuff like that it's kind of universal when it comes to timer mapping but we're gonna go ahead and ram preview and just check out how this looks i've been going hard trying to get it trying to get it i've been on my job uh, this could be a little bit better, so I'm going to go back real quick and just check it out, see what I can do to make it a little bit more even. I'm just going to angle these, try to get it close to the middle. I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to bring that down, that up. And essentially, you just want to keep doing it until you get something that you like. It's not going to be perfect every time. Sometimes you might edit it right how you want it right away. Sometimes it might take, you know, 20 minutes till you get something you like. I've been going hard, trying to get it, trying to get it. I've been on my job. Yeah, I like that. Um, I probably would do a little bit more work on it if I was making an actual edit, but obviously this is a tutorial. But that's essentially how you edit uh, trick shots with timer mapping. Um, please leave a like if you guys did enjoy or if it did help you at all. And if you guys want any more tutorials on different trick shot effects, stuff like that, uh, leave it in the comments and I can definitely make a lot more. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.